How's it? Hello. Welcome. My name is Max Hawaii. The channel and loose paper. The series. Welcome to My name is Max Hawaii and loose paper. Okay. Today it's it's rainy out. It's windy and rainy. And and they're gonna they're already having hearings for SCOTUS. SCOTUS with the modest. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to say too much about that, except there's not anything against the person being a point head. They're just extremely conservative. So that's the whole thing. President can appoint. But it's election year, so it's all. <laughs> ah. Ah. Today is October 12th. October 12th. October 12th. <laughs> Thank you for your patience with that thumbnail. Oh, excuse me. Village Revival. Hmm. October 12th. Only three days. So, test and travel. Hmm. And you gotta take a test when you get here, too. I guess they switched it from random to just to everybody. Wow. And yesterday's count was a hundred and three. One oh three. Okay, let's see what this headline is. Village revival, long neglected Verona village plantation community in Eva, that's on us. The west side. It's like past Pearl Harbor. Oh, not quite Wainai, but Eva. Awaits oh, redevelopment. Plans. Matter of fact, Eva is uh, a direction like north, south, east, west. See, I'm kind of like in the Diamond Head area, except Diamond Head's like kind of that way. But you look at Diamond Head, and it's in the east with its compasses. If you look towards the west, that's towards Eva. And if you look towards Diamond Head, that's to the east. So you get a, on the south shore here. A Diamond Head side of Honolulu. In case you're tuning in from time like long out of place. What is this? Eva. I like to think Lucy thinks buys her city owned home. Oh, she get to buy the home. Because it used to be what? Oahu Sugar Plantation. Plantation days. Back to the plantation days. So the city owned her lot in her house. Turns 88 today. Oh wait. Oh God! In one sentence, right? Bob Malone, whose husband worked for Oahu Sugar Company and died in 2005, turns 88 today. Happy birthday! <laughs> so, the guy worked for Oahu Sugar, so we got like a kind of like a sweet deal for workers with the housing stuff. Anyways, they get to buy the home. That's good for her. Volcanoes Park weighs larger role for Native Hawaiians. On the Big Island, you got the National Park right around all the active volcano stuff. Wow, the wings just kicked up, man. And now for some spooky stories. <laughs> some soon. Mm -hmm. Uh, change, blah, 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 blah. providing opportunity for further change in the form of disaster recovery. Change is constant. Disaster because the lava erupted and it broke through the ground in Leilani Estates, and that's downhill from the caldera. It's just like the lava. The when it's underground, it's magma. When it breaks the ground, it's lava. Science break. And it was just pooling underneath. It kind of gets clogged. Plumbing. Volcanoes. 
think it's like a lake and then it kind of goes sideways because it's a shield volcano and then it kind of goes in someone's backyard and next thing you know that because it's like a relief like a, like a giant lava zit <laughs> God, sorry good morning mm. I apologize for that that's horrible but it just lava just went wah, down because it broke down hill and then it's all disaster you can't do nothing here come the lava that's it sometimes you, people get all the pele ah, pele kukalimoku what do I do kukalimoku ask pele you nama yeah yeah just a effing howly with a waikiki tiki what the hell you would think you're fooling? All right, let's get on with it. Get on with it. Uh, unlock screens and devices. What the heck is my thing? After all that, it's what? No, this is just insane. Okay, I'm not even gonna go there. Didn't even start art clear. <laughs> all right, let's turn the page. In the page, back in the day, back in the day, 1960, we have the back in the day old photo. Jonathan Heston and Lydia pose with their son, Frazier, the photograph at the Bible. And, and uh, Jonathan Heston came to Honolulu. I think it was right before Planet of the Apes because after he came to Honolulu and he left, after Bucky Key, he said, Damn it, I need to star in a movie where everyone's apes! <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Actually, I have no idea what that is. Just making up stuff, just trying to be humorous. Is everything so serious? Security guard jailed at the deadly shootings. Black man who police led. What? Black man who police. Who was led by a Galveston, Texas. I know of Texas five years. Been there, stayed there, lived there. Uh, this is good stuff, but Texas. Eh. Galveston, uh, double uh. Black man who was led by a rope by two white officers on horseback. What the hell? This is like back to plantation days. What the fuck? Sued the Southwest Texan Police Department for a million bucks. Good for you. Saying he suffered humiliation after fear after fear during his humiliation of fear. Uh, extreme and outrageous post visit. I know somebody from Texas who went into law enforcement and that ain't the half of it. He's they, they have a mentality and it's... Challenger raises $57 million against the... Yeah, I don't know what the heck that is. Okay, look at sinkhole. They got sinkholes because there's like lava tubes underneath the ground. Mm -hmm. uh, England to have virus lockdown system. And, yeah, it's, it's like all over Europe. Europe is going through phase four or wave four. It just never ends. And they have this, they have this thing. Um, about symptoms, foggy brain, that figures one of the symptoms. So you go, um, you get the coronavirus, don't get it, right? Vini Sancti Spiritus, Vini Sancti Spiritus, Vini Sancti Spiritus. I'm doing that for many reasons, actually. Which shall be explained in Paranormal 101, or Spook 101. Um... But if, pe unfortunately, for those who get the virus and don't die, because, yeah, it's a possibility, no matter what age you are, you don't have to have underlying conditions. It can happen. It can happen to anybody. It can happen to me. It can happen to you. Holy crap. People just don't get this thing. But they're studying how it affects people that have come out of it. Survivors. And after effects. And one of them they know is brain fog. They can't like remember words. I'm, 
I must have already had it. <laughs> I got brain fog all the time. I think it's just because I'm just getting older. I can see age. I can see freaking cheap social security now. My life is... Um. Hmm. Oh yeah. Thank God the president nominated a Supreme Court Justice because Obviously, he's immune to COVID. My God, this man has superpowers. It's like, you should be in the Marvel comic movies, right? It's like, here comes Immunity Man. I, I survived. I must be immune. He's going to go out with his uh, invisible antenna. I sense that the virus will... Go away. I mean, he already does that. All right. Enough of that nonsense. State record 103 new cases. Why recorded one new corona related death on Oahu. 103 new infections statewide, bringing the totals since the start of the pandemic to 169 fatalities. 13,472 cases, health officials say. Now, you might think that's relatively low. Oh my god, I gotta get myself tested and go travel over there and vacation because there's not so many people that are infected. And I'm sure that's what everyone's gonna It's less infected than where we're at. Buy a ticket. <laughs> that's what scares people here. So if you come over, don't be uh, shocked. No, I mean, that's the that's state. Oh, it's not a state record, it's state records. Oh, I'm not spending way too much time on that. A community lends a hand. When Lena Suzuki heard in September about the desecration of graves and trash strewn across the grounds at the Waianae Japanese Cemetery, where her husband relatives are buried, she organized a cleanup and asked the community help. To, I quote, I'm amazed at how much work was done in one day. I feel humbled. She pulled together after it was 50 people and kick it, because they know, you know. I mean, um, I don't know. Maybe, I, I don't know. I, I gave these messages. I don't even give them out to. Yeah, is there woke people? The woke? I don't know. Guess what? Death is real. It's real. Yeah, don't <laughs> don't feel. If you feel healthy, nothing's going. You know, nothing's bad's happening. Just you know, thank God or whatever your higher power. And just remember, no one is. In. So here they are. They're helping the lady put together a freaking tombstone back. I gotta check this thing out. Check it out. It's like her 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 husband was buried there. And they're like desecrated graves. Oh, look at that. See, I gotta do that. So, I gotta do this. Gotta do this. Gotta do that. Oh, I can kind of see it in the thing there. This is terrible. I had this little mirror to do that, but I found a vanity mirror. Oh. Around here about your back problems or back medicines problems. My god, the desecrating graves. What does the Q say here? Question of the day, the big Q. How confident are you that Oahu will ascend to tier two? Less restrictions. Reopening in October 22nd. 20%. Very confident, doing well, lowering COVID cases. 47%, that's about half. So, so, still cautious, concerned. 33, so one third. Pessimistic people are too cavalier. I'm there, I'm there. I think people just don't get it. They're, they're just, because it's invisible, it just takes a little, you know, out of sight, out of mind. Like the jingle, you jingle the keys in front of the kid. And you put the keys behind the pillow, it's like, in front of the kid, and the kid can't see. 
<laughs> is that often this? Tarantulas bold hues confound researchers. Tarantulas are fuzzy, active in the dark, mm -hmm. and troublingly large. With some South African species tip tapping, tip tapping around on legs, bands bigger than the hands of most gargantuan professional basketball players. But then they were like this. This is how the tarantula does. We go like this. I know. My roommate at SC had a tarantula for a pet. <laughs> you really hold it? I'm like, no, no. And you look underneath and it has like fangs this big, it's like half inch long curved fangs. And it's like, just put it in your hand. And it has hairs all over it. You put it on my hand, like, oh, okay. If you talk, talk. Oh, uh, can you take it off now? Your breath tickles the hairs, which makes the spider tense, which is what happened. And the little claws at the end of the feet go out. So it feels like a little points of electricity at the tips of its little feetsies that are doing this. Then all of a sudden, the camera goes out. And all of a sudden, ah, that even hurt my ears. Oh, Baba audio. <laughs> Damn, this is, there's got to be a better way. Memory full. What the heck? There's something stupid about that. Anyways, Kukam, you're a disgrace. You're a disaster. Anyways, the tarantula was like this, right? And it was like, I said something, and then it just went, went <laughs> raced up my arm on the back of my knees. Like, back. Fuck tarantula. Needless to say, I squashed the hell out of it. No, <laughs> it was this guy. It was this pet tarantula. Priscilla. What? Priscilla the tarantula. I'm thrilled, says Nathan Moore, an expert in space. Whatever, something odd is about their bright, vivid colors remain mysteriously, incredibly mysterious because they have these bright oranges. We have no idea why. Now we might. Why do they have bright colors, huh? Green, the cigatillas, some speeches help with camouflage, metallic blues, don't see the help with the fence, the hidden man. You think that? Even the trenches might see much more vibrant colors than we knew the scene of one of us was. Um. I, I, I don't get it, you know, it might be this, it might be that, it might be this, it might be that. This isn't really like an answer. Why am I talking to Coot Cameron? I failed! Failed me. I, I don't know, I think Coot Cameron, I think this might be... I might have to just bow out of that. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Now this is like gigantic. Audio, what do you think I can do now? All right, let's get a roll on this thing here. Let's talk and start. You made it a bit strange. Shut the hell, get on with it. All right. <sighs> yes, so. Let's look at the views and voices. I'm ending an abusive relationship. A Statue of Liberty with I voted on it. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Control debates or, uh, let's see, what we have in the menu. What happens if airline passengers test positive? Good question. Heart, and uh, I forget heart, dumb rail. Let your voice be heard in these stressful times. Yes. Debate. Control or don't have, oh, we have, oh, charter amendments. Let's give this a bit. All right. I think I found my choices. Here we go. I'm just going to read these. You guys can do whatever you want. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to um, subscribe and welcome new subscribers and like and all that. See here. <laughs> nah, here you go. Oh, oh no, it's puppy. It's puppy love ready for freaking vicious teeth bites. Back, you already have a stage name. What happens if airline passengers test positive? Mm -hmm. 
by Randy Chow of Pearl City. Has the state really thought through the pre-testing procedure and accounted for the worst case scenario? Currently it is assumed everybody traveling will most likely be COVID-19 free. Lieutenant Josh Governor Green, also an MD, says he expects at least some positive cases to show up within the traveling community. Oh. What is the procedure when that happens? Don't, they don't have one. Quarantine the positive individual at least, but what about the other travelers within the six foot bubble of the infected traveler? Parenthetical. Two rows in front, two rows in the back, three seats on either side. And a step to the right. Put your hands on your hips. <laughs> Buckle your seatbelt. Pull up your mask of your freaking ugly freaking nose. <laughs> there to the quarantine traveling. Okay, one two. Will they be tested? Hmm? So like the pat the plane comes in, there's one person that supposedly positive, right? Oh, but you slip through the cracks. And then all the people around inside the airplane, will they be tested? They should be, especially since they were in close contact for an extreme extended amount of time. And the travelers within the six foot bubble. God, I knew I'm gonna start hating that word bubble all over again. Bubble this and bubble this. Toil. Toil. Cauldron soon bubble. Bubble. Toil and trouble. Double trouble. I think it's double trouble. We'll have to look it up. We might bust out the Mackers. Oh god. Then, you know, in, in the theater world, if you're putting on that play, or if you're not putting on that play, and you speak the word of its um the name of the play they call it the scottish play or knackers <laughs> so they don't oh i'm looking over here coo <laughs> you uh if you speak the name of the play it's supposed to be a curse in the theater there's this big long thing where it actually had i don't know curse effects well things attributed to the non-believers the party poopers so, um, we can make this really long, aren't we? Holy crap. Um, anyways, so don't say the word, don't say Macbeth, okay? Because the, the curse will get you. They should be, hmm, in essence, all the passengers on the plane should be tested in quarantine. Contact tracers, have fun. That's what he called it, yeah, contact tracers, have fun. With their bubbles and six foot bubbles from patient zero hey especially since they were close kind of traveling the six foot bubble of patient zero shoot will not expand the bubble another six feet because of the extended time together so here's patient zero and they got within their six foot bubble people who could be potentially affected now those people are now six foot bubbles and bubbles and bubbles and more bubbles Bubble, bubble, toilet trouble. Yeah. Now, let your voice be heard in these stressful times. Each morning I awake and wonder what's happening in the White House. Last, since last I checked. It's that plane from the movie. Outbreak. Incoming! <laughs> I can't seem to. There's the, there's the movie to watch. I'll break. I can't seem to waste the monkey. Get it. Get the monkey. It's a bubble monkey. I can't seem to wish November 3rd to arrive any sooner. No, I'm not the only one suffering from election stress disorder, ESD. God, seriously. I know you're joking, but come on. Seriously. Since. Senator Kamala Harris' outstanding performance during the recent Vice President the Bay really exhibited their strengths and abilities, along with two Nobel Prize winning women with a white ties. Women can truly stand proud. Why? Just keep kicking ass, you know? <laughs> you can do it. Go, go girl. Um, now President Trump 
is refusing to participate in virtual debate? Doesn't he realize that he's catching the virus is the reason for this format? Now, Molson Robot. Wise mail in ballots have arrived. Everyone must vote, submit early. Don't smoke cigarettes. You know, something like this, too. Voting supports our democracy. So, that's like a big go vote. Yeah, go vote. Siri, read out loud the definition of voting. As a noun, it means a formal indication of a choice between two or more candidates or courses of action, expressed typically through a ballot or a show of hands. Do you want to hear the remaining one? Sure. Yes. As a verb, it means you will register a vote. Aloha, Siri. Hi there. Goodbye, Siri. Take care. He's <laughs> gonna say dairy. Anyways, you have a nice, unstressful day by hanging loose. See you next time. Aloha. Yeah.